Welcome back everybody. Okay, here it is. This is the one you've been asking for. Amazon Prime Music. Or is it just Amazon Music? I think it's just Amazon Music, right? Why am I saying Prime? Amazon Prime Music. Amazon Music. Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime Music. <laughs> Amazon Music. Let's just go. <laughs> let's just go with Amazon Music. Okay, there's been a lot of updates with it. I've been playing with it. I've been using it on the app, um, and I've also used it on the desktop. We're going to go and have a look at the desktop in a second. Uh, I'm going to give you my views on it. Now you know I am testing all of them. I have tested all of them. I've been using them for a while. Uh, I get a lot of questions all the time, and one of the questions I keep getting is, "What am I using at the moment?" Um, as you know, I switch back from Spotify, Apple Music to YouTube Music, um, and then I test these other ones to see what's going on with them. And I am back to Spotify. Why am I back to Spotify? Well, I got an email after my last my last video saying that what is going on with Spotify and their music suggestion system, um, and said that um, you know please bear with us, algorithms, stuff like that. So they are updating it. But what I found while testing all of these things is Apple Music. Love Apple Music, I love the sound quality. You've probably heard these say it in these other videos. But Apple Music will only connect to Apple HomePods. YouTube Music is brilliant, love YouTube Music. YouTube Music will only connect to Nest Audio Speakers. Spotify, connects to every speaker. It connects to your, it connects to your HomePods, it connects to your Nest, it connects to your Echoes, it will connect to everything. Um, and now I know you can do the Bluetooth stuff if you've got, if you've got YouTube music and if you've got Amazon music. And in fact, actually, I'm going to get into that in a second with Amazon music. <laughs> um, because, um, because on an Apple phone, it will allow you to connect to the AirPlay Bluetooth stuff. Uh, but it will not allow you, if you're on YouTube Music, uh, connect to the Google Nest Home. Amazon Music. Um, there's, there's some, if you've got Amazon Prime, you get access to Amazon Music. So there's Amazon Music 3, free, not free, free, uh, and that will play ads and everything else. If you've got Amazon Prime, you get access to the music and you just get the standard music, whatever. That seems to be okay for many people. However, if you pay for the subscription, and currently they're doing a thing where you get three months free, um, that then gives you the this then gives you the high quality sounding, uninterrupted, ninety million tracks of Amazon Music. I didn't find that different. Um, let's have a look at the app. Okay, so this is the app. This is the Amazon Music app, and it is an app on your Mac or Windows desktop. This is what it looks like. Now, it's kind of nice, but, <laughs> but, there's always a but, right, guys? There's always a but. Watch this. Ooh, what the hell is happening right now? Okay, and then expand it quick. <laughs> I mean, lagging a bit, are we? <laughs> it's lagging a bit. Um, I've come off of the full subscription and gone back to the Prime subscription simply because I have Prime. I don't see the necessity to pay £9.99 for this. I tried the free part of, well, not the free, but I tried the, I, you know, I did the free trial, so to speak, to see if I could get anything from it. There was some frustrations. Uh, I mean, it is really nice. Um, I also use, just so you know, guys, and I'll just get to it now, because what you can do with Soundits is you can convert or transfer or synchronize all of your playlists from different platforms across fantastic tools. So all I did was I got all my Spotify playlists or all my other playlists like this, transfer, select, Spotify. I selected all my playlists and I transferred it over to my Amazon Music. 
simple as. So, uh, yeah, so I've got all my players. So if I want to get to my library, I simply come over here, I click on library, and I've got music and podcast. So a little bit like Spotify, it has the both. So I can go into here, and you can see here is all my playlists. Then my recents, playlists, artists, albums, and songs. Um, now, unlike, so let me just click on one. Let's go to, what should we go to? 80s Mad, right? Now, I can edit this. It's a nice look and feel. You can see that background fade there. I don't like these white lines. Um, I really don't like these white lines. We've also got the plus there, so we can add that to our library. It also has a really good lyrics system. Uh, we have the three dots here that we can play next. I really don't like these lines that Amazon use. They also use it in their app, uh, and you can play similar music. You can buy the song. You can shop for Brian Adams, download. You can do all these amazing things, okay? You don't need me to run through this stuff. You can even filter some of the stuff. Um, and it's it's really simple. Um, if you want, if we just click on a song, it will start playing down here. Let me just stop that for a second because we do not want to be demonetized. And then we can click on lyrics. Let me just quickly show the lyrics. And just like Apple, okay, we can scroll through and see the lyrics. However, if we want to edit this playlist, uh, I do, do, do if I remember rightly, uh, I don't think there was a way to do it. Uh, and it's again, this is one of the things I found really frustrating. Um, I could share it, I could play it, I can shuffle it, but I couldn't find a way to edit. I could randomize, uh, rename the play. That's all I could do. So there's no changing of the album cover, okay? No changing of the album cover, very much like YouTube music on that front. Um, now, the other thing I found really frustrating from this app is that was the available devices. You know, it's picking up my Yeti stereo microphone. That's not a speaker, <laughs> that's my microphone. Uh, I've got the screen flick, the loop back. Where it's picking this stuff up from, I don't know. It will only play again, and this was my frustration. Um, with Spotify on the desktop, it will connect to the Echo, it will connect to, in fact, I was really peed off with this because it's not even showing my Echo, which is in the kitchen, which is on this network. So I was really peed off with that. Um, I don't quite know why it's doing that, why I can't see other available devices. I can't stream to it, I can't do anything to it. You get a little thing up here and we can go unlimited, it keeps telling me to go unlimited, and we've got these settings. In the settings, music subscription, that'll take you to here, and this is a ball lake to get off unless you find that tiny little x in the top right hand corner and then it takes forever to come back to this um frustration much yeah i can go to here and see what the other play queue or see what the play queue is i can clear that play queue uh, i just find this a bit you know again here's that little speaker i just don't get the point in that it's not picking up any speakers for me to play on it can't I, unless i connect my apple airpods to my Mac, I cannot play this app through even its own speaker. It's not even picking up its own speaker. I mean, come on, Amazon. Come on. You know, um, and, you, and and to find, like, if you want to close this down, little thing, right, tiny little thing here, that comes it back down. You want to go back home, you click that back home. Um, I, now, I, I'm not going to say about the suggested music because I've not been using it long enough, even though I've been liking tracks, disliking tracks, and so forth. Is it easy to like a track or is it, you know, difficult? You can click on there uh, and you can add an, and you can buy the song you play. I couldn't find where you liked a track if you were listening to it. If I click on Discovery Mix, um, I, again, I could do, I just, there was just no, I can't, again, I think if I just click on that little tick, that look. To me, a tick, delete from library. Are you sure you want to delete this section from your music library? Why would a tick be delete? I don't, I just, I don't know. Guys, hit me up in the comments if I am wrong here. I just didn't like it. Obviously, there's the podcasts. There's plenty of podcasts for you to listen to. I just found that even just scrolling, look how slow the app is. Now, this is on a powerful iMac as well. Look. It's just so, so slow. And the mobile app is not even better. Let me just show you the mobile app. Okay, so let's go into the Amazon Music app. And this is how it loads. It tells you Amazon Prime. And this is what the home screen looks like. You can see it's quite nice. It's all there. It does the job. You can scroll up. It's nice and smooth. We can scroll to the left. 
it's nice and smooth and you can see down the bottom that we have home find library alexa and upgrade why has it got upgrade oh cancel alexa thank you cancel <laughs> so sensitive it's a real pain so i'll try not to say the name uh up here is your most recently played or your activity oh an unexpected an unexpected error has occurred this is another one of the uh, you know okay don't need to say it. Uh, let me just cancel out of that. Let's go. So we showed you podcast. Um, so yeah, down the bottom, we've got library. Now, this is the bit that I wanted to talk to you about, guys, right? Is because if we click up here and go to here. Now, if I connect to a device, it takes a second. There we go. You can now see quite clearly we have the kitchen echo. Nice at the top there. You can see it. Let me just zoom in and out there. Uh, you can see kitchen echo. We have airplay and we have everywhere. Now, it won't show you any Google Nest devices, of course, okay? Um, now, what I need to show you here is if I connect to the AirPlay, I have no idea what it's now doing. Let me connect to AirPlay again, and I'm gonna connect to my Office HomePods, uh, which I've now done, and come back out of that, and close the top button up here. And let's just say, let me go into my library and go into 80 or go into classics and then just play. We also get the thumbs up in the app. Let me just pause that for a second. There's a slight delay when you're doing that. However, that works nicely. It's playing on their play really good. I'm just gonna try and show you, before we go into lyrics and stuff like that, the issue that I had. When I click up here and disconnect AirPlay and go back to phone and close that down and close that down, okay, and play again. It's now going through the phone, as you can hear. Now, if I clicked up here and go back to AirPlay, I'm wondering if there's been an update because I did complain about this. Then click on AirPlay, then go back to Office HomePods. I think it's going to do it. I think it may be fixed. Yeah, it's fixed. Because the lights come on on the Office HomePod. Yeah, it's fixed. Okay, it takes a second. Um, what that was doing before, everyone, was that it wouldn't allow me every time I came. So on this screen here, when I came by clicking that X to go back to this screen, it transferred the music back to my phone and stopped playing on the AirPods, uh, on the air, yeah, on the on the um, home speakers. Don't talk Siri, okay? Um, and and that was what was causing the problem. And then I had to keep going back in. Look, it's still got the AirPlay thing up there, but disconnect back to my phone. You have to select your phone. It's really fickle how it works. Um, however, if you want to see, you can click up here, click on X-ray. That will tell you a little bit about the song, the buzz, you got related, the party's diner, and so forth. Uh, to get back down, if you want to see the lyrics, you click on here. Then you can see the lyrics, and you can scroll, and you can do this, and you can change, and so forth. It's really... <laughs> I, I mean, hit me up in the comments. I think it's really unintuitive. I don't... It's, it's a nice look. I mean, we can share, and we've got the three dots there, and we can download, view, blah, blah, blah. We can do all that stuff, right? The app itself, I just find to be a little fickle. Uh, it's, um, if I click on the upgrade, it's going to tell me try three months for free again. The look and feel of the app is really good. The way that it works with connecting to devices is not great. I've had a few issues with it. The way that it interacts or it, the slowness, like I showed you on the um, iMac, it just seemed really, I, I don't know, I don't know. Hit me up in the comments. Have you guys used this? Have you tried using it? What's your thoughts on it? Let's go back to the main camera. I don't know, you know, I don't know. I just, you know, I test these things out. And, and you know, Amazon, when you look at it, um, the music app, it looks so good, but there's this lag to it. There's this like, like if you're like on the desktop that I showed you, that dragging issue, the lack of being able to connect 
to your speakers. The you know the issue that I had a really frustrating issue the other day that I was playing uh, the music and I wanted to put it to my um, air, airplay uh, to my home pods, which I couldn't remember the name of earlier. Age uh, and basically. Every time I put it to the HomePods, it was playing the music, it was connecting, and then I wanted to go back and maybe change the album. It, when I came out of that AirPlay bit, it stopped the AirPlay. Oh, I was so frustrated. I can't begin to tell you how frustrating that was. The sound quality is quite good. I'm not going to knock that. So the pluses, the pluses to Amazon Prime Music or Amazon Music, I keep saying Amazon Prime Music because I'm on Amazon Prime Music, I've not joined the main thing. The If you want Amazon Prime and you are looking to save money and you don't want to spend money on Apple or Spotify, you know, because that's an extra expense and you are a Prime customer because you use their services, it will do the job. The app works, it has a CarPlay, it will connect to Bluetooth, it will connect to your AirPlay. It will not connect if you have Google devices it will not connect to the Nest stuff because of this, whatever this thing is between Amazon and Google, I do believe it's being rectified. But of course, if you are Amazon throughout your home, it'll work, it'll play on your TV, it'll play on your speakers, it will play, it'll, it'll do the job. And it will save you money. And the app is really nice and easy. There's plenty of songs on there. You can create playlists, and like I showed you before on Soundits, you know, check that out, the link's in my description. You know, um, and it's a discount code, by the way, you get 15% off. Um, you know, you want to transfer your playlist over and you want to save money. It's there. It'll do the job. You know, why spend? It's already paying for Amazon Prime and they're giving you all that music. Use it, right? Um, however, compared to, you know, Apple Music, again, like I said before, Apple Music is limited. You know, you can't go connecting to Nest devices. You can't go connecting to the Echo. However, in the Amazon app, you can select Apple Music as your default music provider. And of course, you'll play from that. Um, and the same goes for YouTube Music. The frustration with YouTube Music, it's really good. It's up and coming. It's got more songs than the, any of the other apps, obviously, because people upload personal stuff and so forth. But it will only connect to the Nest Audio or the AirPlay if you're using your device. If you're using the app on your computer, which I often do when I'm working, I can only connect to, the, which is not a problem. I've got Google Nest uh, stereo sound speakers as well as the HomePod stereo sound speakers. However, Spotify will connect to everything. It will connect to your Nest, it will connect to your Echo, and it will connect to your HomePod. Uh, and that's where Spotify get you. And they're updating it, and they've listened and watched one of my videos, which I was really impressed with, and I got a nice email to say that we totally take on board what you're saying. And of course, all the people that had emailed me with those same frustrations um, through my video, I let them have them. They're working on it. I was interested, and it's quite good. Spotify does do everything. It is easy. It does everything you need it to do. Um, I think the family plan is a little bit pricey at nearly £17 a month. However, that does give you six accounts. So um, Amazon Prime Music, I think if you are looking with these high-rising prices and you already have Amazon Prime I think it's going to be a no-brainer. Um, I don't see the point in having Amazon Prime Music and Spotify or whatever. Uh, if you don't have Amazon Prime and you are looking for a streaming um, system at this moment in time, um, I would... Apple Music, I have because I'm, I get a smart benefit through my mobile phone contract, so I get it free. So I don't need to worry. If I didn't get that now, <laughs> oh my God, why do I chop and change? Oh, please tell me it in the comments. Do you get these frustrations? It is a really kind of, here is Spotify and here is YouTube Music. I'm doing this all the time. Spotify have those amazing lyrics. Spotify has podcasts already on it. Spotify has a dedicated app and Spotify will connect to everything. YouTube music has better suggested music, seems to, the album seems to know me a lot better than Spotify does, but it's got those other, you know my frustrations guys, if you've watched all my videos in the music streaming realm, uh, you will totally get it. Uh, and, and, and back to the Amazon music, um, you know, like I just said, 
it would do the job that you need it to do. Is it a bit clunky? Is it a bit laggy? Yes. Um, but it sounds good. It sounds just as good as the others. And if you do sign up to the actual prime, uh, the actual main part of it, you'll get this high fidelity quality audio and access to this, that and the other. I don't see much of a difference. I personally think if you're paying for prime, do you really need to be paying nine nine ninety a month? for the next step up, no. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, thank you as always guys for taking part. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for the subscriptions. If you haven't subscribed, why haven't you subscribed? You're probably just popping up on your little thing there, but it helps me, it helps me as a creator to bring this stuff to you. I've got more to come. Um, if there's anything you want me to review, make sure you hit me up in the comments down below. Thank you for all your comments. Just so you know, I do read all your comments and do my utmost to reply to you all um, because I really do enjoy reading what you said. So please hit me up in the comments. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, follow, share, and, and love to hear your feedback on it all. Take care, everyone. Until the next one, peace. Amazon Prime Music, Amazon Music, Amazon Prime.